Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will interpret the parameters in a linear or exponential functions in terms of a context. That is, we will master the following skills. We will interpret the slope and x and y intercepts in a linear function in terms of a context. We will interpret the base value and vertical shift in an exponential function of the form f of x is equal to b raised to power x plus k where b is an integer and k can be equal to 0. We will also interpret the base value and initial value in an exponential function of the form f of x is equal to a into b raised to power x where b is an integer and a can be any positive integer including 1. Now let us see an example. Now in this example we are given that Annie is picking apples with her sister the number of apples in her basket is described by n is equal to 22t plus 12 where t is the number of minutes n spends picking apples. What do the numbers 22 and 12 tell you about Annie's apple picking? Now in this example, we have to interpret the parameters given by 22 and 12. We are given the linear relationship by equation n is equal to 22t plus 12 where n is the number of apples and t is the time spent by any in picking up the apples. Now this equation is of the form y is equal to mx plus b which is slope intercept form of the equation where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Now let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2. So comparing equation number 1 and 2 we have m is equal to 22 and b is equal to 12. So, this is the slope and this is the y-intercept. Now we know that slope tells us the weight per unit and intercept gives us the initial value thus 22 tells us the rate at which Annie is picking up the apples per minute and 12 tells us that initially she started with 12 apples. Now let us interpret the parameters in exponential functions. Now let us see one example. Now in this example we are given that Ben earned $1,600 last summer 
He deposited the money in a bank account that earns 6% interest compounded annually. Now see this problem deals with the interest that is compounded annually. This means that each year the interest is calculated on the amount of money Ben had in the bank. That interest is added to the original amount and next year the interest is calculated on this new amount. In this way we get paid interest on the interest. Now we will write the function that describes the amount of money in the bank. Here the general form of an exponential function will be y is equal to a into b raised to power x where y is the total amount of money in the bank x is the number of years from now and a will be the initial amount that when deposited in the account now we know that rate of interest is 6% per year since the amount of money will increase with interest so growth rate B is 1 plus R the whole where R is the percent rate so growth rate is equal to 1 plus 6 percent that is equal to 1 plus 6 upon 100 which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.06 that is equal to 1.06 so B is equal to 1.06 also initial amount A is given as $1,600 so A is equal to $1,600 now we will put the values of A and B in this equation and we get Y is equal to $1,600 into 1.06 raised to power X so we have written the function that describes the amount of money in the bank and here the initial amount that is A is equal to 1600 and growth rate B is equal to 1.06. Now consider the exponential function of the type y is equal to b raised to power x plus k where b is an integer and k can be 0 now in this equation vertical shift is given by k now suppose we have equation of type y is equal to 2 raised to power x plus 5 now here vertical shift given by k is equal to 5 
and a rate factor which is given by B is equal to 2. Now let us see this with the help of graph. Now here we have drawn two curves. Red curve is the graph of the equation y is equal to 2 raised to power x and blue curve is the graph of the equation y is equal to 2 raised to power x plus 5. Now both curves have same rate factor 2 but both intersect at different points on vertical axis red curve intersects the vertical axis at the point 0 1 and blue curve intersects the vertical axis at the point 0 6 thus when we shift the red curve 5 points up we will get the blue curve so this is the vertical shift. So, for the equation of the type y is equal to 2 raised to power x plus 5, 5 represents vertical shift and 2 represents rate factor. So, in this fashion we have interpreted the parameters in a linear or exponential function in terms of a context and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.